Hello, and welcome to Tutorials. And today, uh, I'm going to be showing you how to do some soft shadows in 3ds Max. It's very, very easy to do. Um, for an example, uh, who likes the Avengers? I know I do. They're great. Avengers. I think I spelled that right. Um, need a good font. I I really need some better fonts because look at them all. Um, I I I'd give that one a go. Century Gothic bold italic. Fancy. Okay. Gonna add a bevel. Just bring it out a bit. Give it some. Give it some depth. And I say that's pretty good. I'm gonna just gonna squidge these letters together a little bit. Can I not squidge them together? I can't squidge them together. That's kinda odd. Okay then. Um and then I'm just gonna bring that A out. So let's convert it to an edible poly. This isn't a tutorial on how to make the Avengers logo. This is soft shadows. I'm just doing this for the hell of it. So, here we go. We have a uh, frozen computer. Okay, I'm just going to make a camera just so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to add a very, very, very basic material and we're going to use mental ray before we do anything else. So make sure we have mental ray as our renderer. I'm going to just give it a material. I'm going to select arch and design and I am literally just going to select a preset. Uh, polish concrete. Let's just bring down the reflectivity, just I don't want it that reflective. Okay, apply that to that. Show in viewport. I'm just gonna add a UV. UV. Text. UV. UV. Thank you. Make it a box. I'm gonna choose 50, 50. That's a bit small, is it? Yeah, it's a bit small. Let's just go 500, 500, 500. Render this. I think I need to change the size of it. Gonna render it again. And we're ready to begin. So, soft shadows are very easy to do. Let's select an standard light and a mental ray area omni. I'm going to just put one there and just move it centralize a bit. I'm just going to move it into that frame down there so we can see where it is. And I'm going to make it blue. Just a very pale subtle blue. If I render this They don't look soft at all. At all. There's something we can do to fix that. I'm going to clone this window just so I've got something to use it before and after. Make sure shadows are on. I'm going to go down to area light parameters. I'm going to increase this to a bigger value. I'm just going to full screen this. You can already see what that's done to the preview. So, if we render this and compare it to the previous preview thing, you can see if I zoom in on the A and zoom in on the A here, soft shadows! Hooray! But we're not done yet. We can add more shadows. I'm always up for more shadows. So I'm going to hold shift, drag this along, and I'm going to make this a copy so it doesn't we don't affect the settings on that. I'm gonna make it an pale pale orange. There we go. So now we have more soft shadows. That's looking good. So we can see on here we've got some nice realistic looking shadows. Now I think I remember from the Avengers film slash trailer there was a bright orange light near here. 
just I don't know I'm not sure why I think it was a little shimmer when the text appeared so I'm gonna make this bright orange bright bright orange but we're gonna add a fall off to it so it doesn't spread out through the entire scene so I'm just gonna make it as small as it can be and I'm just gonna press alt W to make this bigger you can also press maximize viewport and we're just gonna increase this value this is going to be where the uh, light ends where the, it, it's completely dark and then if we lower it it adds the soft bit so light is 100% inside this circle and it's 100% by the time it reaches this circle this is where the fall off happens so if we do another before and after clone render I think that light needs to be a bit brighter don't you yeah just gonna move this out of the way. Increase to five. Let's increase it to five. Let's just <laughs> I think that's good. I'm just gonna change this orange because I hate it with a passion. There we go. Render again. There we go. It's looking much nicer. Da, 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 da. If you haven't seen that film, go watch it. It's brilliant. So I'm, I'm going to reposition the camera just so we can have a better look at these area shadows. If, if, if it wants to load and not crash on me, thank you. Even in the viewport it looks amazing. Okay, that's because we've hit the target. Oh, 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 getting a bit of lag. Let's just reposition the target so it's just here. And reposition that so it's there. Let's orbit the camera, move it down, move it back, move it along, uh, move it up. There we go. So let's just render this. So you can see just the fall off here. Light, dark. If we just move in here. Then, so this is very very simple to do. It can drastically increase the quality of your renders. You'll be surprised how many times you see. Uh... Oh, did we made a bit? We made a boo boo. We didn't put the area light on the orange light. You can see how harsh that is. So let's just do that and sniff. Okay, we're gonna go down to the here. Increase this to. I. I... I'd say not that much of a big number, because you can see how it affects the fall off. So if we just change it to something very small, we can we'll be able to see how the uh, thing changes. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna decrease this to 100, 100, 100, just OCD. And I'm also going to use the diffuse as a bump map. Paste it as an instance, and let's see what happens. Hopefully this will give the specular a bit more texture. And it increases the render time. This is just a quick tip. Just using soft shadows. As you can see it's still still rendering, but you can see the soft shadows there. It, it's And it, even just at default settings, it's very good quality. I mean, you can increase all of this, but these just ridiculify your render time I don't know why I just came up with that word but it will make it crazy slow so I think that pretty much covers soft shadows quick and dirty soft shadows that is I hope you learn something and continue to learn in your journey of life quest for I'm rambling I'm gonna stop this now thank you very much for watching I shall see you soon.